All right, here's what I've got. These are some of the cabbages, Charmont cabbage that was left over from this fall. I cut the cabbages off and now they sat there and they had a little green on them came out towards the end of the season and I've just kind of let that grow and so now they're starting to elongate. I think they're going to go to seed. I hope they go to seed. That'd be great if you could harvest the cabbage and then use those side buds as your seed source. Take a look and see where the cabbage was cut. That original cut in the cabbage. That original cut in the cabbage right there. And then those things have started up and just sprouted up from there. But you see they all have at the heart of them the the original cut from the cabbage. Right in there, you can see that. There, look at that. Let's take a look at that. This is just nuts. This is the stem of a red cabbage that I cut this fall. It's been laying out here all winter. It's sprouting. Tried to put on some roots. My question is, could you really root this? If you could root that, Dude, it just wants to grow. Could I have made that grow more? Could I have cultivated that, put that in a hot box all winter? The light is the limiting factor for us here. I may thin them out to see if I'll just eat some. I may just eat some. All right, so the light's kind of harsh here, but what I'm gonna do is just go in and thin these out. As you can see, that's a good batch. We're gonna have that. That's Charmont as a variety of cabbage. That was a good little cabbage. Good little cabbage. If we eat those tops, just like you would anything else. All right, enough of that. All right, there we are. We got our little cabbages all cleaned up and trimmed up. I was chewing on them while I was cleaning them, and they are a little bit bitter. Not an. It's not an unpleasant bitterness. But it's kind of like the bitterness of a spring green. You wouldn't want to use this in a salad, for example. And some of them are a little not tough so that you've got to really work at it. Again, it's all some people are so picky. But it would be better to treat these like a like a spring green. What we're gonna do is just blanch them and then we're gonna cook them in a little stir fry. I'm just gonna add the cabbages to that. Get them in there and blanch them for a couple of minutes. Get those out and drain them off. All right, I'm going to cut up one of these elephant garlic cloves. Add a little grated carrot. All right, it all starts with an onion. Add the garlic. Then we're going to add some of the grated carrots. Then I'm going to add the little cabbages that I had drained and I chopped them up. All right, and then I'm just going to add some canned Alaska salmon. All right, so here's what we're having for lunch. Those are those little cabbages with some elephant garlic from the garden last year, some onion, carrot, and some canned salmon. It's good. And then we're going to have for dessert some warm blackberries and a splash of maple syrup because life's too short to go without maple syrup. All right, I think I have an embarrassing admission. I think I ate that too fast because it was so good. Those cabbages were nice and sweet. The blanching really made a difference. And then you can't beat blackberries with a little bit of maple syrup. Worth doing. It'd be nice if all the cabbages did that. Like you could cut the cabbage and then they'd all sprout from the side. I've had them where they make little cabbages during the summer if you cut an early cabbage. But then this one is nice as an overwinter. I'm going to get some cabbage harvest to eat like that. And then maybe those cabbage seeds that we can plant. And we'll either use them for sprouts or we'll use them for planting and see what kind of cabbages we get. Bye.